Okay, hello YouTube and welcome to the Friday Technique video. And I'm doing a new thing here that's going to be kind of fun, I think. I do Voice Teacher Reacts videos on Wednesday. And the Friday Technique video is sort of based on what I covered in the Voice Teacher Reaction video the previous Wednesday. So in this last Wednesday, I covered Dimash's amazing rendition of Unforgettable Day. And so in this video, what I want to do is I promised that I would work on showing you the mix, showing you the head voice, and showing you how to work from the top down so that the top influence the bottom, influences the bottom in a very, very positive way. And I'm going to give you examples and Oops, <laughs> I'm going to give you examples. That was smooth. I'm going to give you examples and exercises for all of those. And uh, so stay tuned. Hello, I'm Mike Goodrich with The Inner Singer, creator of The Inner Singer podcast and all things Inner Singer uh, and The Inner Singer Technique Course for Men. And many others are in the pipeline soon to be coming out. Uh, so anyway, I'm thrilled that you're here. Thank you so much for all your lovely comments, all you subscribers are educating me so much with all the voice teacher reaction videos I'm doing. And because um, I've been doing technique for 30 years and I absolutely love technique. So I'm loving doing the voice teacher reaction videos in a little different way where I try and use them as voice lessons as well. And then this idea I had was then to take what I talk about in the voice teacher reaction on Wednesday and bring that into our technique session um, on Fridays to actually give you some actionable things that you can go away with and work on so that it's, you know, for those of you that are, are watching the videos, a lot of you are singers, obviously, or why would you be watching um, the reaction videos? And especially your singers if you're watching this, because who's going to watch me talk if you're not a singer? I mean, who would care? It's like watching paint dry, right? Um, but anyway, so I want to give you those three things. Show you how to work on your head voice, show you how to work on your mix, and show you how to work from the top down, why it's important, and how to do it. Okay, so to do this, I just recorded all these things. Well, no, let me say I didn't, but my, let's say my, my twin brother just recorded all these things, and uh, he's about to demonstrate them for you right now. Shall we go to him right now and, uh, and see if we can have some fun? Okay, I'll see you in a minute. So the exercise to help the top influence the bottom for men would be starting, let's say, on the A flat four if you have those notes and you can do a nice pretty head voice that isn't falsetto like this. So that's not falsetto. So now I can allow that to influence my bottom voice if I bring that down. I never fell out. I don't know what scale I did, but I never fell out. It was kind of a little hint of the Dimash song, but not really. So now, let's say I wanted to change vowels and go more to an ah on the way down. I still will stay vertical. See, I didn't splat out. I'm allowing the top to influence the bottom. So an exercise that you guys can do for this would be something like this. So I'm starting on the F sharp four and you could take an OO and you could say or you can take an O. Make sure your lips are a little bit more like an OO and say the O. Notice that I'm not doing this. See, I'm not doing that. I'm allowing the top to influence the bottom and I'm staying very vertical. Okay. Now, even if I did that on an, on an ah, which on an F sharp four in my mix, right in the bridge, is going much more to an ah. And that would sound like this. Ah, I never fall out. Okay. 
Now, if I did that a little bit louder, that would sound like this. I still don't fall out, okay? Now, it's not that I don't fall out because I'm so great. I just, just know not to fall out. I'm not going, because that wouldn't work. And I'm letting the top influence the way that I sing in the bottom. So for you guys, if you've got these notes properly, then you can really let them influence the beauty and the ease of the bottom. Because you don't want to sing the bottom voice one way and the top voice another, because then they go like this. They don't come together. If I'm... You want them in line. Okay? Women, the same exercise. I would suggest that you say the word one. And say one, 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 one. Or new or no. And I'm starting you on the D flat five down to the D flat four. Or the B four down to the B three. So it really depends on what kind of a singer you are. If you if you pull your chest voice up a lot and you have trouble getting into your mix, um, then I would start on the D flat and I would start on new, which is a nice light coordination, and see if you can work your way down to the chest. No, 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 no. Get down to the chest, but not a heavy chest, okay? Now, if you have a strong mix, I would suggest doing that also on the D flat four, uh, starting there, but use no, 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 no. Picks up a little bit more weight and strength in the voice, and you'll come down through that first bridge. And the way you want to do that is you want to walk down. So you do it like this. And you're letting that top influence the bottom. So by the time you get here to the B flat, which is right in the middle of your bridge, you're no, 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 no. You've got some strength in that bridge where those two sets of muscles tend to really work together at that point. And you're really, it's a real balancing act, right? We'd, we'd, we'd prefer in our mind to be on either the heady side or the chesty side, but we're right in the middle right there. So that nu sound really, really helps with that. So do that. And you can try it now, as a matter of fact, say nu, 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 just do it once. So play around with that idea. Or you can start on the B. Okay, if you have trouble getting up to here. All right? So I'm probably about to do a really bad edit, but I'll, I'll be... Unforgettable Day, where he starts on this A-flat and head voice. And then goes back to the G. There, something like that. Um, it's, the melody is something like that. And so he sings it in head voice. I don't know the lyrics, but that's a great exercise, actually, just to take those two lines and do them on ooh, do them on o, oh, do them on closed sounds right now, do them on u. Uh, Do them on closed vowels. Vowels that are more closed. Uh, O's, O's, uh. Well, it's not a vowel, but it's a sound. Uh, terrific one to use, by the way. And, and do that because that's going to really work that head voice. Now, if you have trouble with head voice, 
and you just do falsetto, the way to discover your head voice, well, one way, is to use falsetto, but the idea behind the falsetto you will use is you're not going to go for volume, and you're going to keep the purest sound. I guess I should use my fingers. One, two, versus... <laughs> doesn't work quite well. You want to use the purest sound you can. Volume is not important. Purity, so you don't hear a lot of in the falsetto. Because the difference between falsetto and head voice is just chord closure. So you can get to your head voice from a falsetto that is sung with great meaning and emotion and not volume, almost like you're sucking it back. So if I was on this A flat, Ooh, but I've got a little more chord closure there. So now if I, this is how I develop my head voice, I, because I could not do this. I couldn't sing soft at all. Now it's one of my coolest things, one of my best things, the thing that I love to do, and I could not do it at all anywhere in my voice. This I promise you. So the way I developed it was by singing a very meaningful falsetto. So if I took this A flat and I started on a falsetto, and let's say I was going to do this, oops, I go, so that's a falsetto, right? But the more meaning and emotion I put into that, now I'm going to fast forward like you know, a couple of weeks or, or months or what it might take, but it goes from this falsetto into a head voice. And I developed that by singing lines like this in pure falsetto, not loud and not loud on purpose, as if almost I was sucking back, keeping the purest sound I could and adding emotion to it. And what that did is begins to suck the chords together, begins to get a little bit more chord closure, a little bit more chord closure. And eventually, it's not falsetto anymore. Now, I have worked with and spoken to, before I was a teacher, I was trying to figure out how to do this. I spoke to countless tenors and this was a common thread among them all. One of them was a good buddy of mine, one of my best friends at the time, right? Who could do this gorgeous head voice. I said, how do you do that? He said, I started like, I started just doing a lot of falsetto. And another baritone I knew, I started doing a lot of falsetto. And another guy who sang Jubert, Schubert Leader, just gorgeous, just beautiful. I said, how did you develop that? And when I started, as, I started like falsetto, he goes, and then I got to the point where even I didn't know if it was falsetto or head voice. And then he goes, eventually I got to the point where now I know, I know what it is. It's just totally head voice. But it started as falsetto. So for you guys, if you can't sing softly and you want to, work your falsetto. But the major thing about working the falsetto is work it pure, with emotion. Do not go for volume. You want the purest sound you can get with the least amount of in the tone. Because means you don't have much chord closure. The purer the tone, the better the chord closure. And as you, as those chords get sucked together and the muscles within the chord start to work and get used to the balance of air, so you're not blowing so much air, you're blowing the chords apart. All of a sudden you go from to that and you're golden. Okay. So do that exercise. Now, for those of you who know that Dimash song, Unforgettable Day, you'll know he also goes back in the second verse and sings strong. So he comes in on that A flat in a strong mix. And it's a beautiful, almost operatic, but not quite more popra. If he tucked in the, the resonance a little bit more, it would completely be operatic. But so he goes in like this. Ah, 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 
Now, see, that's not yelling. That's making the bridge. And you can hear it this way, for example. Listen to the turn the voice takes right there on that scale. Takes it right at that F. Goes right into the mix. And that's what he does so that he can get those beautiful, you know, let's, let's call them normal notes. Because um, I don't know if you know Dimash, then he sings actually literally off the piano. Literally. Not figuratively, actually literally off the piano. Um, like D8 or D9 or something that is like a dog whistle. It's unbelievable. Um, but when he's singing in this normal sort of tenor range, which we all have to develop, right? That's what's happening. Now, an exercise that you can feel that on, there are a few. One of them that I love is very, very easy. And I'll give you three, three quick ones. There's either the hum, and you hum lips together, teeth apart like this. And you go, and you can feel it like this, watch. Hear that? I'm feeling a lift in the resonance, right? And the handoff is being made by the muscles and the cords that pretty much control the chest voice to the muscles that control the head voice. There is a balanced resistance against those two sets. And we're starting the handoff from the TA, which is the thyroid muscles, to the CT, which is the crack of thyroid muscles. We're beginning that transfer, right? The scales are now being tipped a little bit more like that. And you can hear it. I'm not going to... Another one is, believe it or not, the lip roll, which we all do to warm up, right? Uh -uh. Works great. Another one is what I call the squeaky door. And we just use the very edge of the chords. Almost like a hum, but not quite. Instead of the hum, which is... This is more... It's almost like a little fry tone. Versus... Terrific exercise, light compression, and you begin to feel that transference from the dominance of the muscles that control the chest voice to the dominance that control the head voice, which is awesome. Now, an exercise that you might want to use as well, if you're making it nicely on those, is go to something like this, which is an octave. F sharp, F sharp three to F sharp four. For the guys, it's right in the middle of the bridge. And you would say something like, no, 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 no. And then you feel that transference of, no, 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 no. And you feel yourself accessing that mix. Now for women, you're gonna do that to be right on in on a B natural four, let's say which is just across the bridge. Now you can you can opt to do that rather than just the B natural four. You can opt to do that on the C sharp four to the C sharp five, which is gonna put you way across the first bridge, less propensity to pull your chest voice up. So try one of those, okay? Try one of those, either the C sharp Matter of fact, if you're not in a car, you can try it right now. Just take no and say, no, 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 no. You're going to be here. No, no, no. And you. Here we go. And we'll come down. And we'll come down. Bridge. 
bridge. Coming down so you can be pretty much almost all chest. See now, and you can practice two things at once there. You can practice number one, getting into your mix, and number two, letting the top influence the bottom because as you come down through that first bridge, you get you starting here, no, 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 no. So I'll do it in slow motion. I'll go, if I'm going, no, 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 I'm not going to do that. No, 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 I'm going to do that, right? Okay. For your guys, you can be able to say on this F sharp four like we did. And I want you guys to do it as well. So that sounds like no, 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 no. Guys, here we go. If you're not driving. And we're coming down. to a C4 top. So now, what you wanted to do is again, you access that mix and then you let the top influence the bottom. No, 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 the three main things are get into the mix and access it with you know, one of the exercises that I just taught you. Work from the top down so that the top influences the bottom. And for you guys, if you're having trouble with head voice, then work the falsetto the way I explained. If you women are having trouble with head voice, I've got a little game, a little fun thing for you to do. And I've taught so many women to sing in their head voice by just doing this fun little exercise. And what it is, is just pretend that you are doing a Saturday Night Live skit and you're playing a female opera singer. Exaggerate to the nth degree. Just like you have the horns and everything. And just sing around the house a little bit, imitating an opera singer. And that's going to take you into such a silly place that you're going to start finding what your head voice is. Because a lot of women these days, you know, that I work with, most of the ones that I work with just want a belt, which is awesome. But, you know, for musical theater, more musical theater than pop, but even pop, the ornamentation of having head voice is pretty nice to have. And some women can't do it. You know, totally understandable because they're locked in their chest or their mix or stylistically, they don't know how to break out. So what you want to do is just goof on an opera singer, a female opera singer, ooh, and play around, you know, big and fun and have fun with it. And then you'll start making sounds you didn't know you could make. And those sounds are then very duplicatable and refinable once you know how to do them. Okay. So uh, for the man, you're going to do falsetto with feeling, not loud, with lots of emotion. And then that's going to suck the chords together. And you're eventually going to be in your head voice. Okay, you're eventually going to be in your head voice. And for women, goof on an opera singer and have some fun. Both men and women, work from the top down. Okay, let the top influence the bottom. Because that's going to give you a nice vertical line straight up and straight down. It's all about the vocal line. And develop your mix. Now, for, for men and women, I think I both I give both you guys something. I think that's enough for today. To try, to try and digest and play around with. So uh, we'll go back to my counterpart. <laughs> to my, uh, my twin there. I hope you enjoyed him. Uh, and I hope you got a lot out of that. And I hope you learned some exercises and, and got some value. And he, obviously he's not really my twin. Um, I was, I'm clear that uh, you probably know that already. But uh, so anyway, I hope you enjoyed this and got a lot out of it. If you um, like videos like this, uh, subscribe. And because I'll do a whole bunch more. And if they're too crazy for you, let me know. And I, I won't do them quite as silly. But, uh, but I like the silliness. It's fun. 
So it's, you got to you got to laugh. Uh, and also hit the bell for notifications. So you can be notified of all this craziness that's going to be coming out on Wednesdays and Fridays. And uh, comment. I love your comments. They're awesome, with the exception of the guy who hammered me the other day. But that's, <laughs> it's totally OK. I expect it, right? It's on the Internet. And uh, who knows? Um, hey, some of these amazing. Hey, even Dimash and some of these unbelievable singers get thumbs down. I don't know what they're thinking when they do that, but uh, it's crazy. But uh, no, I'm just playing. But anyway, and also thumbs up if you like the video. Share it if you like to. Um, I would love that. And if you want to find out a little bit more about the stuff that I'm talking about, things that aren't on YouTube, uh, go to MikeGoodrich.com forward slash free videos. I know I said that fast, but the link is in the description. I have a free singing accelerator video series for you that has three, count them three, Really, really wonderful videos, if I do say so myself. Lots of packed information. The second video is called The Magic of Vowels, and it will teach you all about everything about vowels that's necessary to help you make these bridges and get into your mix. Really, really, really good stuff. And if you'd like my free ebook, The Five Biggest Mistakes Singers Make While Singing in Their Mix or Belting and How You Can Avoid Them, the links in below as well. Okay, so anyway, it's been my pleasure to, uh, to serve you here. I hope you enjoyed this. And as you can see, I'm having a lot of fun and I babble once in a while. And uh, that's been another criticism, but <laughs> sort of how I teach and what I do. It's worked for 30 years. So what the heck? I'm not going to change now. Anyway, thanks so much, you guys. And I will see you in the next video.